Hey guys, what's up? It's Dom back again with another video. And today we are playing another Fierce to Fathom game. <laughs> I, I enjoy this series very much. I've did episode one, two, three, and now we are doing episode four, Fierce to Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout. Yeah, I enjoy these series. It's a series of people just telling their stories, but it's an interactive game uh, format of storytelling. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just get into it yeah all right so let's go ahead and get into the game fierce to fathom episode four iron bark lookout may 12th hey i noticed you were requesting story submissions while i was watching a youtuber play fierce to fathom carson house what i'm about to recount happened when i was 24 or so at the time it feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I mean, any of these experiences from Fierce to Fathom series have been terrifying situations to be in. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job at a, as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the, in the Pacific. I was gonna say the specific, <laughs> the specific, the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I had a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about two hour it was about a two hour drive. Alright, we driving. Let's get to driving. Cruising down the street in my six six four? Is that the is that the is that it? I forgot. Okay, we can't text and drive. We can't text and drive. All right, let's see. Um, Kayla. Kayla, did you pass Roseburg yet? No. Why? I tell you this, though. The soundtrack they be having in these cars be jamming. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. I've always loved the great outdoors. See, I would love the outdoors, but the way I am terrified of bugs, I'm sorry. Okay, can't text and drive. Hold on, let me stop. Let me stop, because I'm going to run off the edge. <laughs> I remember there's a diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. So I'm guessing we're going to stop at a diner along the way. That's a gas station. Ah! Diner. Alright. Okay. We gotta pull in. Do I feel like parking? Nope. We're gonna park right here. Oh. This is a nice little RV. I'm feeling okay. This fancy. Okay, nice little cute RV or whatever. Close my stuff so nobody go up in there and try to steal nothing. Because I am parked behind these cars. They might try to... They come out and be like, bitch, why you... Why is you parked behind my fucking car? I can't even get out. Alright, let's go get us a nice burger. <sighs> Alright. What in the... Hello? Boo! Oh! Oh. <laughs> I was like, why is she approaching me like this? She was staring me dead in my face like she wanted to say something. She did. She wants to say welcome. 
Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Thank you, girly. I'm sorry I was about to try to try to swing on you because you came on me a little too close and was looking a little too hard. I couldn't. I couldn't. All right, we're going to sit down. Sit here. Um, is she going to come help me? Come on, hurry up. You take it too long. You ain't going to get no tip playing with me. Come on. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready for your, ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Um, cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings. I hate onion rings. <clears throat> A meatball sub with chicken nuggets. What kind of a combination is that? What kind of a combination is that? Like, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Anyways, we gonna get cheeseburger with fries. <clears throat> uh, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Large Coke, coffee, strawberry slush. We gonna get that strawberry slush. Perfect. Anything else? Um, that will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as pot as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do, Miss Ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've always had this habit of peeing before you eat. Art? <laughs> I mean, you got it, King. Where the restroom at? We can go pee. I really had to pee. Okay, I get it. We finna go pee. Not the pee animation again. <laughs> Not the pee animation again. Can we see anything else? Let me see. Oh, we can we can aim off to the side. I spilled it. <laughs> Now that's peeing on the floor. <laughs> Is our food done yet? <laughs> Lady, where my slush? You supposed to bring my drink ASAP. Where my slush? Okay, this look fire. This look fire. I want some of this slushy. Oh, this is good. What, what does she want? I'm eating. You just gave it to me. Thank you. Ooh, that was fire. I can taste it. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. It might be, so we gonna eat. We gonna put some mayo on it. Ooh, he fucking this burger up. He was fucking that burger up. Oh, uh, Kelly, you have to wait. I need my fries. I'm trying to eat. Your message is gonna have to wait, girly. All right, let's see what she said. Did you end up going? How was it? I'm here still eating. This is so good. No, I ain't eating no more. This shit, this shit gone. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Thank you, Miss Ma'am. I guess I can give you a tip. Here's the check. Your total is 760 do we pay? Do we give a 15% tip or 50% tip? We'll do 15%. Fuck it. We'll be nice. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thank you. The food was okay. The meat was a little dry. That's what she said. All right, let's get to work. On the road again. Oh, I just had to start it. Oh. Oh, we all in the grass and stuff? I can see. I can't see nothing. Let me not run into the diner. Why are you driving like that, Dom? I am a professional driver, okay? Professional driver. Don't criticize my driving. I'm a professional here. I wanted to include the location of this park. I don't want anyone seeking out the utter otter. The utter 
horrors I've seen in these woods. Wait, is it right here? Do I keep going or do I get out here? Does this look like a the lookout house? This looks like the lookout, right? This is where I gotta go? Iron Bark State Park. Let's see what's over here. Hey, that's a W mixtape. Oh, shit! Why they do that? Why the fuck they do that? <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. I scared you? You scared me? What the hell? You scared me. Exactly. Say, Lord have mercy. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? I'm not a camper. I'm the new transfer fire lookout. Is that correct? <gasps> Who is this in the back? Who that? Is that a camper? I'm guessing it's a camper. I'm over here being paranoid. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on. Let me check the on that. Okay, pal, you're good to go. We're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your, here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need the flashlight for the long hike hike when you get to your tower be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you can clock in safely hey just a piece of advice don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower why dangerous woods that's why pal bobcats and bears Nasty business? You got it. Okay. Ain't gotta worry about me. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. And of course, I hear foot... I hear footsteps. It goes dark. Okay. 11.32 p.m. Alright. It was a long hike. It was starting, I didn't re get to read it. Tower 11. All right. We really gotta come here at 11.30 at nighttime. This is dangerous. He said there's bobcats and everything out here. And they want us to walk at nighttime? Let's see where, where we're going. Um, Tower 11. Let's go this way. I'm guessing it's right here. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. It doesn't sound like it. it. sounds very terrifying. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Dang, they be out here for weeks? But I've always had fondness of, for the outdoors. Not like this. Not like this. Hopefully there ain't somebody at the top and they'll jump out and scare me like Billy. Ain't nobody in here? Alright. Close that sh Lock it. Forgot to turn the generator on at first. Is the generator outside? Alright, let's go back down. Turn this generator on. At the trail. Oh, no. Oh, it's right here. I was having a port. We gotta use the porter patty. You know, we don't even know how long it's been out here. All right. He said, report the weather. How am I supposed to do that? Service reporting. Oh. Static. Static. Hey, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say. Alive again? How, how long has it been dead? How long has nobody been here? 
tower was this? Fire tower 12. You were watching? We had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Uh, I'm just looking for a change. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really you tired. Going? Get no. Lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. What's the temperature? I know I've seen a thermostat. Temperature is 46.5 degrees Fahrenheit. How can I calculate the wind speed? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. I know. Get my, my flashlight. I gotta do all this on my first night. I ain't got time. We running. Gotta get some wood. Gotta go back. Gotta love it, right? There we go. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. You said that already. Nope. How do I measure the wind speed? Is it this thing? Maybe it's this. Nineteen. Who is nineteen? Clear. Good. Good job, new guy. It is definitely windy outside. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower twelve, signing off. You have a good night. I don't want the bed bug to bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. So we can go to sleep now. I'm scared. Somebody gonna be up in my room. 3.26 a.m. What is going on? Is that somebody? What's going on? I gotta go down to the porta potty? Why can't I just pee in a bottle? Can I just pee in a bottle? On my first night being out of the cabin gave me strange feeling. Wow, that's insane. <gasps> yeah, what if somebody's like at the bottom down there? We just peed on them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's that's scary. Night two. What about the daytime? Oh, we got a coffee. It's just you and the wind and the time just melts away. This is beautiful. Now this, this I can vibe. Sip. This I can vibe with. Looking at the sunset. Nice, the birds, the, the beautiful sky. The water, the trees, my cup of coffee. Oh, this is peaceful. This is beautiful. Take a photo. That was beautiful. Bye, beautiful sky. New guy. Oh. You copy? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Let me go. Then Connor. Connor, stay being in contact. Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Son Connor. What's bitch. up? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? I was like, uh, who are he talking to? He was like, you son of a bitch. What? I thought he was talking to me. I need you to confirm. Okay. Smoke up north? 
can you give me a chance to? I see it. I see it. I see it. Spot that white smoke up north. Yeah, I see it. Lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Oh. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. Bear spray? You have any no other details? Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Okay, I go forget it. Can I carry the axe too? Dude, I'll trust the axe over the bear spray. Alright, let's let's go. I don't know what's gonna happen. That's far. Just stay on the trail, Dom. Just stay on the trail. Just staying on the trail. <gasps> oh. Uh is it this way? Lacey Trail. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Yep. Caution. Bear. Okay. Gotta be be prepared so we don't get mauled by something. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh my god. Oh. Why do I gotta go to it? Why do I gotta go to it? You dummies. Hello? Okay, okay. Damn. I hear whispering. I mean, not whispering, whistling. I ain't going out there. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked. I'm so scared. I hear the whistling. It's coming from that direction. Is there no water over here? Oh my god. Lord help me. Lord help me. Well, the fire is out, so do I just go back? I'm gonna go back. Do I gotta go towards the whistling? Should I go towards the whistling? I'm gonna go back. And, you know... If it tells me I need to go back, then I'll go back. I put the fire out. That's what was important. As I hiked back to the tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. I'm glad I didn't go towards the whistling then. We gotta go report back to Connor. Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear. I was okay. just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This month alone. Damn. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream. scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming. No, it wasn't. That was definitely a person from the campsite. It was a manly scream. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids? About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Huh? I don't want to be here. Let them off the trail. It's unbelievable. 
A whistle let them off the trail. So if I had went off to listen to the whistle, I would have, I would have gotten got. I'm so glad I went with my instincts. People started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. At least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Hell yeah, I do. Right. Shoot, hey, I wish it was a hell yeah. Hell yeah. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Over and out. Over and out. Oh, Kayla messaged. Oh, not no signal now. Dang, we haven't even eaten anything. I was like uncooked pasta oh okay marinara sauce marinara sauce pepperoni uh mozzarella cheese and diced tomatoes Diced tomatoes. Hey guys, you there? Yeah, I'm hey here. Okay, Connor. What now? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. Good job. We'll take a track them down and get them peace of their mind. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? Oh, I was just getting to it. it. Alright. 48.3 and 21. 21. Clear. Zero hikers assisted. Reported by Mike. Let me guess. Cloud. Our food is done. I like eating in bed. We just eating it straight out the pan. Here we go with the smack in the ear. He is fucking this food up in my ear. I was getting cold. Thought the wood. Oh, man. Is it going to go out? Great. Let's go grab some wood. Let's hurry up and get our wood. <gasps> I hear whistling. I heard whistling. I heard whistling. Get back in here. No, oh, get back in here. Get in here. Close this mother freaking door. I ain't got the time. All right. Two. 27 by some feeling that caught do I get up <gasps> do I get up Oh, jump scare. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? He, he's just standing there. What am I supposed to do? Do I go turn the light on? No, I don't think I'm supposed to turn the light on. He's just standing there menacingly. For real, he really is. Like, I I don't want to go into the light. He'd be like, oh. you know, and get my ass. I don't hear footsteps anymore. Let's try the lights. The lights is the first thing. 
So I gotta go outside. I'm gonna have to go outside. It's no other choice but to go outside. I have no choice but to go outside. Okay. Well, we gotta go outside. Wait. <gasps> Y'all seen that? What the fuck is that outside my door? What is that? Oh, hey, no, Jesus, help me. Oh, Lord, please. I don't want to be taken by these people, please. Put your hands on my, oh, my God. What the sh <sighs> Jesus, help me. Take the wheel. When I open this damn door. Oh, Lord. I don't want to go. Oh. oh, my God. Okay. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. Oh. Only logic thing I got to do is to contact Connor. Connor, do you copy? It's urgent. Hello? Any idea what time it is? There's something. There's something. Outside my door. I don't think these are kids messing around. This feels like some real ritual. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? Cuz! I'm telling you it's a motherfucking school shit! I'm s oh, hell no! Tomorrow, I need somebody right motherfucking now. For now, just lock your door. Take a deep breath. It'll be morning before you know it. Fuck you, Connor. Night three. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as harmless prank by kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. Do I gotta... There's not much I can really look at. We go report to Connor. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help! Who is this? Please, someone answer. Thank goodness, I'm lost. I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. What's your current location? I'm in the middle oh. of the woods. Uh, That's dumb. That's trees. dumb. That was a dumb thing. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember I, any I remember house? passing a small stream earlier. A small stream. I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Can anybody remember these? Remember this? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See I'm what? at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Okay. <laughs> I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Oh, <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Making decisions in the dark. I'm right here! Oh. I hear you. I hear your whistles. No! What? What? I see you behind the trees to my right. You're freaking me out. I think I gotta get it. Who is this? Can I get it? Spray this motherfucking bear spray. 
Oh, holy moly, what took you so long in there? Because I thought you were some ritual dude trying to come get me. That's what. Talking for hours? I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a loss. At this hour, may the Lord have be merciful. Who is this? Oh, this is Billy. This must be Billy. I ain't want to answer this door. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? Screw around out there. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Got enough to keep me okay. Absolutely it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Mention the skull. I'm mentioning that shit. Oh Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Thanks for the supplies. Okay. Okay, we finna heat up our food then. Gotta microwave it. Alright, let's grab on this. Oh my goodness. Had to report for the night. Oh my goodness. Uh, 58.7 Uh, 27 One hiker Um Oh Yay, I guessed it right I think I gotta go get wood Oh my god, I don't wanna go down To get some wood it is in the dark. Why get quiet? can make the mind play tricks on you who are you i'm a worker i was just maintenance on the radio tower over there thought i'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about you usually work every sunday just trying to keep the communication lines open you must ensure that the right message reaches the right places wouldn't you agree Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I gotta head back to the tower. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Why did I think my name was Mike? My mind and my business.
right here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Been down to get firewood. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. Ran into the tower. Ran the, into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? Just about yesterday. Oh my god. You trying to yank my chain now? What do you that mean? radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair costs were deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. Which is no time Who was I just talking to then? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name! You know, Possibly. Disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Tower 12, signing off. Over. Okay, well it's time for me to go to bed. My uneasy was starting to grow passing day so when I signed off that night I told myself that it was just a change of environment that needed getting used to the strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet however that would soon change two nights later 9.18 p.m. Got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. Sure, young man, like you can figure it out. This is too much brain power. Is this almost over? Does anybody know if this, I'm, if I'm almost done? <laughs> there we go. I gotta go turn the generator on. I gotta go turn the generator on. I ran out of gas. I'll get the gas from in my dang on uh thing. Wait, what? I really have to pee before going back up? One week later, oh my god! Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked unless I was talking to myself. We got another one. <sighs> I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Jack, you copy? I don't have the energy to do this right now. I don't either. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. <sighs> and now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another I don't want to go. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Take their photos and ID. 
IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. What? What? <sighs> I know he ain't just do me like this. Where the smoke at? Smoke is coming from where? Wait. Hold the mother freaking phone. I didn't know what to make of it. <gasps> Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Oh. Me? I'm running. Run! 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 
Get out the fuck out of here! Get 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 get it! Run! 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 Oh my freaking gosh! Find a mother freaking Lee! Oh wait! I'm still running! I'm still running! I'm still running! Anymore. I'm done. If I don't get it this round, I'm done. Run, bitch, run, run, bitch, run, run, bitch, run, 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 run. Get the fuck out of here. Please, please, please let me make it to my camper this time. Please let me make it to my camper this time. Please, 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 please. please. Come on, come on, come on. I ain't got time. Keep going. Go. Run, 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 my dude. Run, my dude. I wish my camper was a lot closer than this. Adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas, drove to nearest ranger's care. <sighs> Out of breath, I radioed an alert to HQ. Look, Jack, we all got a little stir crazy out here, Mitch. Answer. See? Uh uh. I'm ready to get out of here. Fuck this. Fuck you. Uh uh. So, I'm sick of this. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met no with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever stepped foot on in those woods. The unease still heavy, heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on becoming on going camping soon, please be safe. I would never do this. I would never do this. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. W, here's the fathom. Iron Bark, look out. W, W, episode four. I would say this one probably definitely had me. This one has gotten me the most out of all of them. All in all, there was a W. Besides the ending, I struggled so badly with the damn porta potty door and closing it. <laughs>